Hello and welcome to Community Builds Week 16. Just before we start, I am sniffling again, so please ignore that. Um, it's just allergies and stuff. So, this week we are starting with a Kamaz 43118, and I cannot pronounce that. It's Russian, I think, but anyways. I have looked at all of these already. I was, or kind of, I spawned them all already because I was trying to uh, do something different. Also, up here where there's usually music, the music is listed, I should say, it's OBS is just being weird and not showing it at the moment, so hopefully I can get that to uh, pop up. But anyways, this thing's huge. <clears throat> Absolutely huge. Like, oops. Look at that. It's huge, massive, insane. And those lights are new. I have not seen those yet. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you used the, um, the train wheels. They look like uh, disc brakes. Not disc brakes, drum brakes. <clears throat> Interesting use for the little pipes. <laughs> Not sure what they'd be for. It looks like uh, airlines. Yeah, air and fuel lines on that. But, like, I can walk under this, no problem. <clears throat> Last time I could do this, it was a military truck and I was a little kid. <laughs> so, um, door handle works? Where's the door handle? Oh, the, okay. So here's the interior. Massive, also. What's that do? You don't do anything. Okay, that's where you sit to drive. Uh, do that does something. Hmm. Left. Right. Nothing and nothing. But does something, I just can't tell. <clears throat> and I tilt the cab forwards. Does not look like it. Okay, so there's an engine back here for the rear wheels. A separate one for the front. And, okay, that one spins the fan. It's huge. I'd like to be able to tilt the, um, thing forwards, but, oh well. It's two lights? Like one light. Maybe it's just glitch welded or something. It looks really good. So, let's, uh, take it for a spin. It's laggy once it starts moving. All the cab even moves. <laughs> Those turbos look tiny on this, even though they're huge. There's a version with a trailer, also, <clears throat> but I'm only showing this version 
to keep the lag down. <clears throat> the steering needs a tie rod. Oh, and yeah, it just needs some more bearings on it to make it stronger. <clears throat> I'm not going to spend too much time on, like, driving it, because of how laggy it is. Ah, oops, I... Nope, there we go. How is the steering done? So yeah, it does have a tie rod, so you should also connect the steering, like so, just to make it stronger. Oh, that's interesting. What's with that one? Yeah, why is that like that? I'm quite curious. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can take the cab off so we can see the engine. Ooh, if it stops jumping around. But no. Else. Bearing there and there. But I think. Or airbag. There we go. <clears throat> Cab is now off. Ah, uh, no! Remove that really quick. Now we look at the engine. Those are huge. Okay, so yeah, the one switch was for that. I like how you did the radiator. That's really cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to say who this truck was made by. By Ural Next. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Big engine. Yeah, these turbos are usually too big to use on anything, but here they're tiny. Got your exhaust, intake. <sighs> the detail on this is awesome. That's so cool. signal? Oh, mirror. Why does the mirror turn? Interesting. <clears throat> That's just so you can see in front of you, like right directly in front of you. Air tank. This is really cool. I really like it. But I'm going to move on to the next one now. This will be the first one in the description. As usual, these are all in order. Next is a trophy truck by is 5 fo The latest trophy truck. For a second, I thought you said last. Alright, so the latest one, which is the best. Um, uncontrollable. <laughs> better chassis, better suspension, mods. Okay. So that is quite interesting. It has a beam suspension. Pretty long beam suspension. This truck is pretty big too.
Good detail. Like the exhaust. I've never seen anyone use those for links before. <clears throat> Sorry. I've also never seen someone put a link to the back like that. Use the piston so it can pull. But that is really different. That's cool. How come you did that? Like, does it actually help? I'm curious. So. Let's get in it and drive it. See. Putting radiators on the back. Nice interior. <sighs> awesome turn signals. Awesome interior. Okay. Very flat. Which is good. Okay, I see how it the bump stops, that's different. They're put on the uh, axle instead of the chassis. Is it a four link or a three link? Uh, it's a three link. Okay. Interesting looking three link. Still has a bit of a twist issue, but no big deal. The front end seems kind of weird. It handles really good. Um, yeah, the front end. There's something I don't like. Rock. There's something I don't like about the front end. The way the suspension's moving. And the rear diff is way too big. But other than that, this is awesome. Is it only rear wheel drive? It is. It handles really good for only being rear wheel drive. Yeah, I just like to see the uh, the front end have a little bit more drop to the suspension. I guess it just feels kind of weird to drive. And the thing for the music still hasn't popped up. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it is a naturally aspirated V8. A bit already here. <clears throat> it's a good truck. Definitely an interesting design. I've never seen suspension done this way. I've seen the beam design before, but not like this for the spring. <laughs> and then with the rear, I'm still interested in what that's for. My chassis is really good too. I like how the chassis looks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and a little duck. <laughs> Oh yeah.
This is another one of those vehicles I could just look at for a while. So there you go. Another awesome trophy truck. <clears throat> I believe I said it's by is FIFO. Can't remember. So it's a lot of controllers. Or gates. Next is a buggy by Kid Cuban, or Cuban, whatever, however you want to say it. It is called a Desert Wasp. It reminds me kind of a uh, aerial nomad, in a way, other than this is a mid-engine instead of a rear. More charged four-cylinder. Independent suspension, good chassis. <clears throat> Remember my old buggy that had suspension like this? The arms look good. Interesting way to uh, connect them to the hubs. Or knuckles, or whatever you want to call them. Same at the rear end. I'm really interested in the engine. It's very well done. Single turbo inline four. Uh, I'm stuck. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. Where is the intake? So, it's in, into the turbo, through the intercooler. Ah, okay, let's see. So, <clears throat> I believe, just from what I've seen, the music stopped. <clears throat> there we go. From what I've seen, I believe your engine is backwards. Every inline four I've seen, the exhaust has been on this side, but not a big deal. Very good looking cage. Good color, is this a custom color? Oh, it's just really dark blue. Oh, looked like a custom color for a minute. I like the um, mount for the taillights. Good choice in lights for this, too. <clears throat> this looks really cool. Check out the interior. Got mirrors. This is awesome. Oh. Lights. Top lights. And horn, I take it. Fuel tanks in the front, <clears throat> or kind of the front. <laughs> this is going in my showroom. The suspension, like it needs a little tuning, I'll say. Just feels it's really bouncy and soft. We need proper shock absorbers in this. Yeah, it's quite bouncy. But other than that, this is awesome. I could just drive this around forever. This is so cool. Is it only rear wheel drive? It is. 
Cool. Um, but yeah. Six, really? It's set to six and it's still... Wow. This thing's heavy. Yeah, that's my only issue is... The springs are bouncy and soft. Which kind of contradicts itself, but... <laughs> Yeah. And the front's longer than the back. That's just a pet peeve I have with vehicles. But this is really cool. I really like it. I'm putting this in my showroom, definitely. Unless it uses mods, too many mods. That I don't use. Jump off it, there we go. So before I spend the rest of the video driving this, I'm gonna move on to the next one. <sighs> Curve the bar around the gas cap. Why don't I just put the gas cap over here? Or over here. Make a little bit more sense. In my opinion. Next is by Lord Payne. It is an older buggy. Not buggy, sorry. Older hot rod that he made. He uses the old leaf springs. I've never actually seen anyone build with these. I tried, but I don't really like them. Oops, that's a wheel. Go. Oh, the hood open. Yes. I don't know. Old engines. Good air filters. I like these air filters more than the ones you released with the uh, engine parts. Nice yeah. suspension. Yeah. Use a tie rod just to make it a little bit more detailed. It looks like an old tea bucket. Ah. There we go. Not bad looking. I like how you did the intake. Like the, uh... Not funnel, but you know what I mean. That looks cool. Let's do both bikes. It's overpowered. Yes, yes it is. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, very overpowered, but really cool. Too much grip up here. Said it was good for donuts. Let's try some donuts. I can't quite get it to slide. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it is very good for donuts. Oh, it does turn. When I hit the throttle, the little statue thing turns. That's interesting. This thing's fun. Really laggy for some reason. Is it just the hood? Yes. The hood makes it quite laggy. I'm gonna drive it with it open. Yet another simple vehicle that's really fun. And then you crash it. I like this. This is cool. Not much to show on it though. A lot of wiring though. How come? And more bearings than you need, but that's okay. 
I like this. This is cool. And that little detail there is really cool too. I really like that. say about it really it's just really cool and the last one is the off-road truck I helped Ev Edvin with in the uh, second building help video he put the proper wheels back on it I think he tuned it some more and maybe some other stuff I'm not sure but if you've watched that video, you've pretty much already seen the truck, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'll just show off like the suspension and whatnot. There's the, uh... There we go. Nice long, um, A-arms for the front. Oh, you changed it to a four link. I think it was your usual three link before. Now it's a four. That's cool. It might have been like this before, I can't remember, really. Four link rear, independent front. Very short chassis. <sighs> Alright, let's see how it handles. <clears throat> my tuning on it wasn't the greatest, it was just my quick, simple tuning. And I flip it. So, issue with the front suspension. Not your fault, it is the developer's fault. Because you can pull suspension. This handles really well. short for my liking, but this is an awesome truck. Awesome little truck. Very good handling. Like next to no understeer. But it does feel like there is, well it is all wheel drive, but it feels like there's a suspension glitch going on steering. There isn't. Good. It's just the front end pulling it around. Awesome. This is another fun little truck. I might put this in my showroom too. Yeah, if you'd like to see some more detail on this truck, go check out the uh, Building Help number 2 video. Because in that one I actually work on it a little bit. I just put on the uh, bump stops and tune it a tiny bit. And put the wheel wrong wheels back on because I was too lazy. Good interior, very minimal. You don't really need much more than this. You need a couple gauges. That's about it. Body leaning could be my fault. Not sure. Anyways, now that I'm stuck inside, go 
the chassis a bit. The rear quarter panels look really good. <laughs> like how the wheel actually goes up inside them. And it doesn't bind on anything. Good looking chassis. Okay, that's why the hood's up a little bit. Let's see, put that stuff there. I was wondering that before when I was working on it. Why is there a little bump there on each side? But now I understand. So yeah, that is... That means a little Baja truck. It'll be the last vehicle in the description. If you want to check it out. Set everything out to take the thumbnail picture. <clears throat> oh, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? <laughs> okay, so. This one's really big, so I'm going to put it, there. Put it over too far. Well. That just moved. Why'd that move? Oh, steering. I see. Oh. I like that. Next is... Trophy truck. Stick this here. Hopefully it's not too close to that. Nope. The music still isn't showing up. It's just the same music as always. Epidemic sound. And then... Lounge. And stop yawning. Here we go. I think that might be the biggest vehicle I've done so far. Like, sure, there have been a couple trains and 8 bytes and stuff, but that's gotta be the tallest. <laughs> and widest. So hopefully I can... Yep. There we go. And there is... Nope. Screen not lining up with that. Bugging me. There is the uh, thumbnail, but anyways, these will be in the description from right to left, top to bottom. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say, I'm really tired. <laughs> awesome creations as usual. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say this time, so uh... Thanks for sending them in, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.